Today we're taking a look at this Dolka Proline GX600B200 tripod. This Dolka tripod came with the head. It's not great, but over time it's loosened up a little bit and actually gotten better. The legs do separate from the tripod head. That's a very nice feature with the tripod itself. It's a 3 8 inch connection. I did notice on Amazon that the tripod quick release can be bought separately, which is very nice. It's not super expensive. So if you do lose it or you want a second one, third one for different cameras, you can pick those up. Of course, you can replace the tripod head with whatever you want. I have noticed with the pan lock that when you really tighten it down, it will shift the tripod head a little bit, which is not ideal. So when you're trying to lock it down with the pan, you probably want to decide before your actual point where you want the camera to face. So you just want to adjust for that little quirk. This tripod is pretty decent. It's not super light. It's not super heavy. It's got the three locking pieces on there, which are pretty quick to lock and unlock. When I first got the tripod, it was kind of rough, those plastic pieces, but Again, over time, they've gotten better. They work nicely now. So it's kind of like those shoes where you buy them and you have to break them in a little bit. I have noticed with these grips, they kind of slide around. But when it's a decent temperature, they are very stiff, very locked in there on the top. Here we have a hook for extra weight. It is plastic actually pop it off, reverse the intersection like most tripods. On the bottom of this tripod has a screw with really thick metal spikes to it. Usually I try to cover the, the feet of tripods because it's just easier to keep them cleaner, but that it can be useful. But there is just a small bit of area. If the rubber does eventually wear down, you will just have those metal spikes coming out of the bottom. There is a bubble level on the tripod legs. However, in my case, it looks like the liquid that was inside there evaporated or something, so it doesn't work anymore. This tripod is nice and versatile. Got these clamps here you can undo have it go like that lock in you have a maximum height of 60 inches and then 51 inches without the intersection all closed up it's 23 inches and it isn't super lightweight either about 2.5 pounds on the weight of the tripod with that head this is kind of at that level where it is small enough that it's not a super big hassle they do rate this for 15 pounds of weight capacity it seems like quite a lot i don't know i haven't had anything that's even close to that much that was a look at this doka gx 600 with the b200 head Overall, I do like it. I use it quite often. The head itself, maybe you want to look for something a little more robust, potentially. The legs, I do like. Have had any issues with those. And just generally, it has worked well enough, especially considering how much I paid. So, good option if you want a budget tripod. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Scott Bonsai. Thanks.